staff should be allowed to talk back to aggressive customers. This whole idea of customer service to make the experience better for the buyer sounds reasonable, but the inability of staff to hit back at horrible people is tacitly saying it's okay to be mean and you won't be punished for it. I'm not saying staff should have the power to abuse ordinary customers that are not causing a problem, but for the ones that want to take out their baggage on someone that's just doing their job, I say staff should let loose. My favorite line is always I hope your day is as wonderful as you are. I've gotten a few stink eyes from it, but I've never gotten a complaint about it, because that would require the customer admitting that they were acting nasty, which we all know never happens. This is by no means an unpopular opinion. Just work at the restaurant that it encourages it. Dick's last resort. As a manager I refuse to let people talk rudely to my employees. In my current line of work what happens when people get rude is I simply step in and take over the situation until it settles down. If it escalates I shut it down and can simply tell them to calm down or there is nobody else to help. When I was in retail however I was notorious for being the manager who would snap back when the customer got too sassy. I was the only one willing to kick people out and not take shit in any place I worked. I had a lady try to fight me because I defended an employee who simply asked her if she wanted a receipt and she lost her mind and started screaming and yelling into her phone that the employee was stupid and trashy. I tried to help and she blew up at me and I guess my face was showing I was not impressed and she threatened me. I smiled and opened her transaction in our system with her receipt, manually refunded the transaction and put her clothes on the back counter and told her to have a good day. She lost it and tried to jump the counter. People are crazy and think because I have a name tag you can walk all over me and my staff. Absolutely not, in Finland customer service people can. Nothing massively disrespectful of course, but we are allowed to stand for ourselves. When I visited the US I was actually astonished on how much ass kissing goes on everywhere I go. It's called buying shoes, not a full service Thai massage, Mall of America. Be a shit customer, get shit service. That's how it should be. Employees aren't there for customers to abuse. I've always found that you can push back if you choose your words well. A customer complaint about attitude is really hard to discipline if you don't cross any specific lines. I also have always lived by the maxim that any boss who is okay with people treating you like shit is not a boss worth working for. It's important to know your red lines and stick up for yourself but it's also part of customer service to be able to tactfully handle assholes. Briefly worked for a large shop in the U.K. as a forklift driver, I went to the tills one time to get some bin bags and a man was giving one of the tills staff the all the stuff you sell here is cheap shit and honestly I bet all of this stuff is made in Vietnam for pennies the staff member said you're the one who's fucking shopping here mate not me. I still laugh about that from time to time. My experienced as waiter never get into this situation because I am too busy to stay and chit chat lol. It is easier just go, hey manager, go deal with it for me. I will go serve other one before the line gets longer, manager gets paid more just to deal with these kind of things anyway. Also there are not many things they can offend me. I am more afraid of talking to mentally unstable people, you never know what they will do next. Nothing will piss of a rude customer more than looking at them, smiling, and saying I can see you are upset, let me get you a manager who can better help solve your problem, I'm owner operator of my business. We get spicy. I'll straight tell someone to fuck off if they need it. You can talk back just do it professionally, out with them. This needs to happen more. People shouldn't get away with treating people who are serving them like trash. Yes they are here to help, no they are not your personal servant. I was an automotive title clerk for 14 years, and I wholeheartedly agree with you. I've had customers threaten me when I wouldn't keep the office open past closing time just for them. I've had customers curse at me, insult me, call me racist, harass me numerous times over the course of a few days, and generally treat me like I wasn't even human at all. All over doing some paperwork for a car. A fucking car. And not to toot my own horn, no pun intended, but I was a very good title clerk, 
I was extremely accurate and very fast. It wasn't like I was total shit at my job to deserve that kind of treatment. The rare times when I did actually speak up to the customer about being disrespectful towards me, then of course I'm the asshole. The customer is almost never right. Can you imagine if this was allowed? It'd be a slanging match in every shop and riots everywhere. Had a lady scoff at me when I asked for her phone number when taking her order, part of delivery procedure, and when I let her know that due to COVID we weren't having them sign tip slips she said I was being rude. When I asked her to elaborate, after she emphasized her point, she said it was my voice. Sorry that I have a low monotone voice Karen, but I can't exactly help it. How I would have loved to delivered her food and told her off, but I need my job. Customers wouldn't feel so freely entitled and unruly if service reps were able to freely respond. This is why I completely support the idea of employees being more of bouncers than anything else. Bouncers are there to help everyone and are there to maintain order. When someone acts out of line, they get bounced, not for their own good, but for the good of the business and the other patrons. Allowing reps to counter customers is necessary. This will keep the good customers coming back and the poor customers away. Businesses need to be okay with not servicing everyone. To sum it up, you're saying fuck the whole customer is always right mentality. I could get behind that. And trust me when I say that it's a more unpopular opinion than people realize. The people downvoting you are people who've obviously never worked customer service. Or they are, but they're people who've never learned how to tell someone to suck a butt with saccharine smiles on their faces and in their voices.